Hello and welcome to another Tinker's Construct video. Or perhaps I should say it's a video dedicated to Tinker's Construct because this is a survival world uh, where I take a look at some uh, changes in mods and I'm doing it in, in a survival style. Uh, that means that I, I'm exploring a more realistic way of playing with the mods instead of doing it in a creative tutorial world. I will cover pretty much the same things, at least that's the plan, but perhaps not everything in every episode and perhaps in this series, if you follow the channel and uh, subscribe, then uh, perhaps there will be different mods every now and then. But here in the beginning, I will do Tinker's Construct and in this video I'll go through all the first steps that you do until you can get the smeltery running and craft yourself a tool like this, like the copper pickaxe which has a metal head and that means that we need to smelt things. Alright, so basically in this world I have gathered material, as you always do. Find myself a spot where I am free of mobs. You gather what you see. I found netherrack and uh, and actually a block of gold a bit to the side, just from this uh, broken nether portal. Magma blocks, craft yourself a glass and all these basic stuff. Gravel, sand and clay is very important because you need grout. This one. Clay, sand and gravel. This is used for the smeltery, so I gathered just a lot of it. Uh, probably broke two or three stone shovels just to get what I wanted. And you will need quite a lot, so don't, don't be afraid that you're getting too much. You will probably need it. Uh, let's see if is there anything else? No, just regular stuff to get to get going and and gather what you can. Copper is great to get started. And um, well, all right, then we have everything we need to get started with materials and you. This book is given to you upon world creation. But if you lose it, don't worry, you can craft a new one. Just a pattern and a book. And patterns are simple to make. And patterns will be used quite a lot because you need them for all of these tools when you craft your items. And this seems to be different from how it used to be a few years ago. Now if I want a tool head uh, handle or head or whatever, I will use up a pattern to get my... Uh, to get my part like this. So place your patterns, click what you want, place your resource, and then you get yourself the part. I recommend building also the crafting station so you have it nearby, but you need the part builder. I recommend the part chest. It's not required, but simple to make, still useful. And then the tinker station. So these two are critical, these two are optional. When you get this far, you can actually start to craft items and you can combine them. For example, I built myself a stone kama. It's this one, it requires a handle, tool binding, and a small blade. Craft them in the part builder in whatever materials you want. Read the book, it's a great guide. Uh, to get get you going. See, basically what, what I said. Uh, part builder, tinker station. And then the chest, of course. And then we get into the materials. I haven't done this chest yet, but basically it's the same thing as the part chest, but it has more, uh, more slots. Materials are always fun, that's why you should always keep the book nearby when you are crafting. 
all these different materials have different uh, traits. So uh, wood and stone, and not all of them are very uh, obvious what they what they mean, but uh, we, we can probably figure most of them out. And the rest you can try, and then you can actually change the items in your in your tool or change the parts. But in the beginning, first tools you'll make, you probably use flint, wood, rock, and pretty much, yeah, and pretty much that. Then get to the weapons. If you craft a stone sword, it will be pretty much the same as a regular stone sword. Same thing for pickaxe and shovel. So the first tools are not that interesting. Um, but I would say that once you get into melting and metals, then they get more fun and you can start to combine traits as well and do upgrades. Okay, so the tools, uh, let's see. We can repair them either in the field with a repair kit or you can repair them here. Let's repair my comma, have it in repair mode, place your resource and then repair. Convenient way to do it because you don't need to craft a completely new tool every time. Uh, even with the stone tools, I, I would say. Not required, but at least it's fun. And lots of other gear, I will not go into detail about them this video. So once you have them, Stone comma is actually quite nice. I should actually demonstrate. Just right click to pick and uh, replant. There are mods doing this, absolutely. But here I'm exploring a mod pack with very few mods and trying to do it in a more fun way. All right, so that's done. Next. I'm actually crafting myself a uh, copper axe today, and we will do that. I've already done the pickaxe, but we're doing the axe in the exactly the same way. I think I even used the same tool parts. But before we can get into metals, because this is a smeltery, then let's go back to the grout thingy and uh, talk about that. So we crafted the grout, and I think, uh, yeah, and if you smelt it, you get seared bricks. And you will, you, you will need lots of them. I mean, not, not, not only one stack, but at least two stacks. So just make a bunch. And you craft basically all of these things with the seared bricks and a few glass pieces. And over here, and all oh, right, puny smelting. That's a second book. You should craft it. It's a book and grout. In here, you will learn about the smeltery and fluids as well. I will not go into details. I will only talk about the melter and a bit about casting. And of course, tier two materials, always fun. I'm using copper. Uh, but uh, the, the basic idea is the same with all metals, except for alloys, where you mix uh, several metals. And you get some more fun, uh, fun traits from these. Upgrades not covered in this video. But for the basic part, we need a, a seared casting table. I don't think I need to show you the recipes. You, I think you can find them yourself. The heater, casting table, faucet, and a melter. These are the basic things that you need. You can automate them and do lots of neat stuff, but it's not required, at least not in the beginning. Let me just sleep and we'll continue. All right. And I should perhaps mention that it's not only the casting table you need. I would recommend the casting basin as well. Here you can uh, melt your stuff or pour your, your molten metal into a block. 
so nine ingots. And then you can transform it into ingots easily after that. And then when you make your tool parts, you go with the casting table. So this seared heater is for solid fuel only. Uh, we can put some charcoal in here, uh, probably coal as well. And uh, we can melt just a few pieces of metal. Once we have them, we can cast them into either the, the basin to, craft, to make the block. I think all, the, all these are made from blocks. I'm quite sure of it. Yeah, I don't have an ingot cast, so th this is what I have. But then for the tool parts, we're doing it in a different way. Yeah, we'll come to the, this bigger smelter later. Now we only have these parts. So here, we can, here comes the fun part. Begin with crafting yourself blank sand cast from sand. Uh, and we need then a, like a, a mold here. And I have actually prepared that. So I want to have a small axe head. That will cost me two stone to make this one. Now, I did that by mistake before, so I will have it already. You take your item or your part, place it in the sand and then remove it. And now you have yourself the mold. Now we only need the metal and I forgot. Let's get some copper because I will not use, I only have six iron, so I won't use that. Uh, right. Put your copper in and it starts to melt. And once we have it molten, four ingots out of three copper, we can pour it into this mold. You can see we're melting lots of stuff and now we can right click to pick it up and here we have we came for. Now the rest I'll just dump into this basin. I wonder how much. Ah, one ingot and that means we can melt two shanks, two, two more, uh, uh, let's see, six more and that will give us a full nine ingots and then the final block. Okay, that's great. Right, lots of copper. That's perfect. We need it for repair later. Let's move these away. I will not do the iron right now. And we can now finally go to our tinker station, place our tool parts and get the copper axe. So let's see which one is faster. I think the copper one is slightly faster, not by much, but but still faster. And I think, yeah, it's, oh, it was really fast on leaves. The normal axe is not that fast. Okay, great. That was fast and fun. So now we have ourselves axe and this stone Pickaxe, I can remove that one. We don't need it anymore. I still have the item that we made a cast from and I can just put them here because we'll probably use them later uh, at some point. Now, you don't need to use a sand cast forever and ever. Later, you'll make them from gold and then they're re reusable, the casts. And you have one cast for each item. So it's similar, but it's just simpler and faster and looks better. Now, when you have done this for quite some time, you will move up to a real smeltery. 
And this melter is more like how it used to be many mod versions ago. And the problem with this one is that we need lava for it. But I, I did it a bit too soon and I didn't find any lava. So right now it's unusable. But <laughs> not for too long, I hope. Uh, and you go into this into the smelting book. Uh, let's see, melter. Yeah, this is only the basic stuff. Going through how you can keep your liquids in different tanks, and uh, and some of them you can actually carry with you. These are the ones you can. They are regular containers. I think they can keep four buckets of uh, lava, for example. And then you break it and bring it with you. And then you can just empty it in different ways. Or with a bucket. So this is a casting part we went through. And this is a gold cast you'll make later. And then once you have all of these done. Then you can get started with the next version. And that's the... Probably the foundry. Well, I haven't done that part yet. We're not there yet. Uh, I only have the smeltery part, and it, and it's actually not. It's not too hard to build. Seared bricks. That's just four uh, of these bricks tied together. These form the walls and the and the bottom floor. We need one seared drain. It's this one. Just copper and bricks, and this is the one we pour from later. So when we have our nice alloys in here, I'll just place my casting table here and my mold, or yeah, what's it called? And use it over and over again for ingots, for tool parts, or whatever. And we have the casting basin over here. And these can be automated and all that, but it will not be covered in quite some time, actually. We need a fuel tank to keep the lava. That's our fuel. Not too hard to make, just some glass. The only tricky part is the controller. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. So what you do is that you... <laughs> Place your heater in the basin and you pour molten copper on top of it. So you break the heater, place it in here and then pour the lava. And then you get yourself a controller. So basically you do that once you have a supply of lava, but I don't have that yet, so I need to do this. All right, I think that's almost everything we'll cover today. I hope I can do this in a way that keeps it logical and kind of for, for a survival world, not only to make the biggest and most advanced stuff in a creative world, but doing it in the, in the right order, so to say. And as an end detail, before we are finished for today, I saw that we had another portal over here somewhere. It was actually more farther away than I thought. So again, we have some gold. Lots of obsidian. I can't mine it yet though. We need some better tools. Hmm. Okay, nothing too fancy. But at least we got gold and that's used for the for the costs, so at least that's something. Alright, and with this sunset, I hope you have I wish you a great day and I hope I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you stick around in this series because we'll take a look at a few mods. Again, more about that in the description. So take care and bye-bye.